Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. I'm Kenya with BK Trading Academy here with an analysis update of gold and the US dollar. So we're going to hop in. I'm live in the New York session and we're just going to go over what's going on right now. If you're doing our 30-day challenge, this is going to help you as I'm going to go over all the criteria that Brian has walked you through. So let's just kind of look at what's going on right now. Price is trading at 1982 and you can see that we are approaching a resistance ahead here on the daily, which price is kind of surging past that a little bit. So we want to see if it's going to continue to slow down, but clearly bulls are in charge. We also have, I would say, sort of a inverted head and shoulder here on the daily. As you can see, a small left shoulder there followed by a head and then also followed by a right, right shoulder. Price actually broke above the resistance at 1933 and continued to the upside. Now you can see we are on this impulse correction phase and we are quite bullish on the daily. So shorting right now is going to be very risky because as you can see, the trend is strongly turning bullish on the daily. We are no longer in that previous downtrend here that we were seeing. So now that price is broken higher, preferably we want to be trading with the daily directional movement. So in this case, you are on week two of the 30 day challenge. If you're doing that challenge, if you'd like to see how that works, you can go back to our few previous videos on the 30 day challenge or just type in 30 day challenge on our actual channel. And you can do this challenge at any time. It's very, very helpful for traders. And I strongly recommend that you take advantage of it. So now what I'm going to do is find a level below price, because since we have an uptrend here, what we're going to do is we're going to first, we're going to map out our levels. So we know that we have this resistance ahead. Look how price is pushing up into this area. Another thing that I see here, if I just kind of drag this zone to the left, you can see that this is a previous turning point here. So that very strong support. Look how much the market moved from that area. Look how it was also resistance. And look how the market is approaching this area right now after breaking out from this little consolidation period there. So what we want to see is how the market is going to react within this area. If you start to get any type of bearish confirmation, for example, on the four hour, you could consider a short. However, it's going to be very risky because as you can see, bullish momentum is quite strong and we're also in a bullish trend on the daily. So now that we have a level above price, we want to focus on a level below price. And one thing that you will see is that anytime you are trading a directional trend, so here's your low, Here's your high, here's your higher low, here's your higher high. And we kind of have a low right here. And then we have our next high that is forming. So considering this, we always want to buy near a higher low. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to clone this zone and I'm going to find a level below price. I don't need a bunch of levels on my chart. I just want to keep my chart very clear and clutter free. So not a lot of indicators really preferably no indicators. And I just want to focus on the price action. So there's a few things. Why did I draw a zone here? Well, what you'll typically find is that when structure has broken, so in this case, our uptrend structure has not broken, but this resistance structure was broken and price continued to the upside. And many times when this happens, price will return to retest the previous structure that was broken. So logically, we'd want to see a pullback or a correction after this impulse phase. We might not get all the way to this area, but we possibly will get some back right along here at about this 1968 area. OK, so that could be our next area where we could expect a potential long opportunity. And that is why I have this zone drawn right about here. Also, I could take my Fibonacci tool and I could measure the breakout candle here to where it starts to pause. And logically, we will want to see about a, at least a 50 percent to 618 Fib retracement for a potential buy. So if it gives us that, that means we could see price get back to about the 1968 or 69 or somewhere between 1965 to 69. And as you can see, once I remove that fib, look left, and that aligns with this previous turning point right in here or somewhere within my zone. Okay. So the short is going to be risky on this daily trend. And you can see why. And that is because the price action is bullish. But what you want to do is focus on this resistance area here. So this is our resistance. And then this is our support. So this is our support zone here. We're going to map that out. And now we have a key level above price and we have a key level below price. Now what we want to do is we want to capture this price action inside of a channel. So this is our price action channel strategy and we follow very specific rules on how we trade it. 
I'm then going to clone this trend line and I'm going to drag it to about the other side of the channel. So right about here, we don't really have any swing highs bouncing off of that channel yet. Typically, you want to see at least two swings off of your channel support and you want to have at least two swings connected to your channel resistance. So this is a developing rising channel, as you can see. And look how the price is approaching the top of the channel. And it's also in a reversal zone. So this is how I bought all of this together. And this is what we want you to practice in the 30-day challenge. And don't even trade right now. Don't feel tempted to trade. We simply want you to follow these steps. Jot down what price is doing. Did it react according to what you predicted or what you thought would happen? And then that's where you learn from those opportunities. So right now, what we'd want to see is some type of move to the downside right about to about the middle of our channel. And if we short the top of the channel, we logically take profit at the middle of the channel and then potentially price could continue upward if we continue to see this uptrend. Okay, so that is your move right now on gold. So what you want to do is watch for, I'd say some weakness somewhere within here. And it's kind of hard sometimes to pinpoint because as you can see, the price could turn right here at about 1982 to 84. But if you look within here, look, price also reject very heavily through this zone. So there's a possibility that it could even keep rising a little bit higher, even to reject near 1996. It could go a little bit higher. And because it is in a strong bullish impulse right now, this is why you want to be careful shorting because this would be a counter trend trade on the daily. So what I recommend is you can short if you have bearish confirmation and you can study the four hour, for example, that candle is still quite strong, right? But if we get, let's say within, I don't know, maybe the next, depends on what time frame you're trading. This is the intraday time frame. If you were scalping, you'd be on the one hour. So this looks like a good confirmation on the one hour. Let's see if we have a Bollinger Band confirmation. We sure do. That's a good confirmation. So if you were scalping, this would be a pretty good possibly confirmation. However, you have to understand that if you were to short something like this, you are going against the daily trend. So if price does push up, you have to expect that because you can see that the trend is bullish. Okay. So it all depends what time frame you're trading in terms of how you execute. If you are approaching this for a little bit longer, like an intraday or potential swing trade, then again, it's going to be risky because you're going against the daily trend. So the safer move is to wait for a pullback or a correction back into a previous area of structure. So you can see, again, look left and we have our turning point right within here. And it was also support here. OK, and you can see it was also support a number of times within this area. We also had resistance here. And so this would be the safer area to wait for price to pull back. And then we look for a buy opportunity. So maybe somewhere around, I would say 1966 to about 1970 or so. Okay. So that is what you want to look forward to on gold and the US dollar today. Keep in mind that you want to follow your economic calendar and make sure you pay attention to fundamentals because that could change this outlook. But comment below and let me know how you guys are doing on gold right now. Are you profiting? Are you struggling? How's your trading week going so far? I know there's a lot of you who love to scalp gold. So just be careful. Make sure you manage your risk. And I wish you guys a great rest of the week. We'll see you in the next training video. If you're new here, be sure to subscribe. Turn on that notification bell so you don't miss our next content upload. And we will see you in the next video. Don't forget to smash the like button on this video. It is completely free. And I'll see you next time.